Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview uh, covering the start of Masters Madrid. I'm here accompanied by Nathan D, the head coach of Fun Plus Phoenix, who are one of the teams that are qualified for said competition. And uh, Nathan, like I said before, thank you so much for taking the time. And I just wanted to start off by just asking about, you know, living in Madrid, um, returning to the international stage after um, being in champions in Los Angeles. So how, how have you been fitting in in Spain as of this now, as of this moment in time. I want to ask you, I was in the last World Cup, this time I came back to the World Cup, the World Cup, the World Cup, the World Cup. How do you feel in Spain, in the World Cup? I think the whole team, including me, I'm very excited to come back to the World Cup. I think the whole team, including me, we are all very excited to I think the whole team, including me, we are all Really excited to be back to the international tournament. We are all on really high tension right now. Yeah, and and of course, it's because of the fact that you guys finished second in the Chinese kickoff that such qualification made it possible. As the coach, what do you feel um, was the the biggest takeaways, as in like highlights or biggest issues that you felt the team experienced in kickoff that you felt you had to adjust for. This uh, upcoming event. 那其实也是在我们起点赛之后，也是获得了第二名这样的一个成绩，才能够来到我们的西班牙的这个马德里大师赛嘛。那你感觉在这个起点赛整个一个过程当中，你最大的收获，又或者说你觉得你碰到的最大的问题，你觉得应该去调整的部分是哪些呢？啊，我觉得我们最大的收获是我们决赛输给异地就过后，那场比赛帮我们找到了很多我们没有发现的问题。Uh, I think in the final of the kickoff, uh, although we have lost to EDG, but we found a lot of like issues we need to solve and the mistakes we have made. We have learned from those mistakes we made and observed the experience. I think that that's the big biggest takeaway we have learned from the kickoff. Can you talk about exactly what those issues are from your point of view? 哦，那能不能具体说说，其实你们觉你觉具体说说你解决了哪些问题呢？呃，具体的话是我们帮我们在图池上面找到一些阵容的缺陷，或者说我们其实一直以为打的可以的东西，然后其实比赛上面反而不行，就是需要我们尽快的调整，不要让在比赛出现第二次，可能是部分的交流或者部分的协同之类的东西。具体哪些回合的话，这个。其实太多了，其实很更多的就是在一些一些阵容、阵容的选择和一些地图上我们一些战术的一些安排，帮我们找到可以提高的地方。Um, I think the main way we have deal with the problem of our map pool and our composition we chose in different maps. Uh, something we thought could be viable. In the maps, but actually in the real games, we found it doesn't work at all. So we have adjusted those things, and more. Uh, in addition, I think our communication and synergy definitely need to improve. And also, like I just said, the map pool is the biggest problem, and we have learned a lot of things in many rounds. I think in most, I think we're gonna mostly just focus on our compositions. Yeah, and speaking of compositions, of course, uh, when it comes to looking at this team, I think the one of the most intriguing parts of it consists about your new players, them being Autumn and Life, and how they have been sort of switching or sort of been playing together as a uh, as a duo duelist within the team during um, FPX's matches in kickoff. Um, well, this is a two part question. First off, how has it been just trying to fit Autumn and Life into the team alongside a Berlin and Lysor, and also, what's the the thought process like when it comes to devising this composition of just having two duelists and just having them uh, um, play alongside the team? Uh, could you like repeat the second question? Yeah, um, what's it like just having to fit in the 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 double duelists into the team's composition? You know, with them in mind. Mm, okay, got it. 呃，那第一个问题就是想说，从起点赛开始，因为 Life 的加入，可能会你们会启用到 Life 和 Autumn， 有时候会使用双决斗这样的一个阵容。那想问一下，为这次会不会继续选择这个阵容在我们的这个马德里大师赛？那包括说是如何让，呃，第二个问题就是如何让他们这个双决斗的体系更加的，就是适用于我们现在
整个队伍的打法体系。第二个问题是什么？就是你们的这个双决斗怎么样能够更加适应现在队伍的打法风格？我觉得关于双决斗这个问题的话。其实就是来福的加入，帮我们就是打开了这个双决斗的玩法。我们之前是 T Z 去的时候，我们玩更多的可能是单决斗，可能节奏也比较偏慢。双决斗的来福加入的话，帮我们找到另外一种方式，让我们更多的角度去看一些问题，帮我们打提速啊，或者之类的，或者我们之前完全没有遇到过的解决解决比赛的一种方法。然后这次马德里的话，我觉得我们还是会有双决斗，但是。也不是每张图都双决斗，我们还有很多没有打出来的东西。嗯、um, ，I think if we talk about the speak of the double duelist system, I would like to say, um, when Life came to our new team, he seems like it、uh, seems like he gave us a lot of new choice. Um, and previously when we play with TZH, I think it's more like we are playing with a really slow pace. But after Life came in, sometimes we have like wire. Um, some、uh, more angle to fix the problem we can could make in the we could face in the game in the real games. Sometimes we can play really fast, so maybe shock our opponent sometimes, and we have solved this class、uh, solve those、uh, problems. And I want to say that maybe in the Master Madrid we will bring out a double duelist, but not in every map. Yeah,、That's、I understand.、Okay. I understand. Diving deeper, more into Autumn. Of course, you know he is one that has his has been playing in Oceania for quite a good uh uh amount of time. I'm just wondering exactly what was your your thought process like in bringing him, bringing in Autumn into the team uh, uh from Oceania over to to China. Hmm. 其实我们知道，奥特曼选手之前一直在澳洲，他自己联赛也是打得非常非常好，一直打得很好的一位选手。那是什么原因让你会想要说让他把他带到我们这个 One Plus 这个团队当中呢？嗯、呃，我觉得这个是在可能二零二三年年初一个机缘巧合下，那个时候我们正在找一个我们需要需要改变的、需要改变的一个选手，需要改变我们现在的处境的选手。然后那个时候刚好他也正在找队伍，然后我们那时候联系过后。我我方帕子发现他是一个非常全能的选手，他就是能帮你做到任何一切你想让他做的事情，他非常棒。嗯、um, ，be 嗯、uh, ，when it was like back to the 2023, I think it just happened to happen just like a fate,、uh, like a destiny, because we are looking for change for our team at that time, and also for Autumn, he's looking for the team, and we found that Autumn is actually kind of like the all rounder for the team, and he can do. Almost anything for the team, so we choose him, like a double choice. Right,、also? right, and and、um, a few more questions before I wrap it up.、Um, first off, of course, you know your first opponent is going to be Quarmine Core,、uh, another team that has been has emerged as a power within、um, professional rounds, specifically in EME, winning EME kickoff. I just want to know what's your thoughts on them as an opponent for your first match. 嗯、um, ，你们这次第一次将要对决的这个 KC， 他也是赢得了在 EMEA 的冠军嘛？他们的起点赛，那你这次面对到他们，你是怎样的一个想法和看法呢？我觉得我们这次遇到 KC 挺好的。我来之前我就挺想遇到 KC 的，因为我们第一次世界赛就被 KC 送回家了，所以这次刚好想复仇，然后顺便找一个大家公认觉得可能最强的队伍来挑战一下。Um, I think this is actually. I feel actually it's a good, um, good. I think play with AC is kind kind of like fine for me because I、uh, before the Master Madrid I want to play with the KC because the first our first experience of international tournament, um, we lost by、uh, we lost by KC. So this time we want to take this revenge. Maybe we want want the good results too. And so, one more. And one more question before I wrap it up.、Um, looking at the team's trajectory、uh, when it comes to、um, this current iteration of Fun Plus Phoenix, you guys have, have been able to reach、um, champions in 2023, and also in locking, of course, a, a tournament that you guys also participate alongside the rest of the other teams in, in BCT. But I've not been able to 
more or less at least win a game uh, in the international level. Why do you think that that's the case for this FPX team? And also, what do you think the team must do in order to, to finally get that first win under your belt? Okay. 那其实 FPS 到目前为止，不管是像像说是 lock in 也好，还是嗯冠军赛也好，其实都是有了很多次的世界赛的经历了。那不管怎么说呢，其实整一个旅程对于大家来说还是一种成长，一种进步。那包括说这次来到大师赛，我们会不会说想要获得我们在世界赛上面的一个首胜？那你想会想说我们应该是如何去达到这个目标呢？啊，这是方巴斯第三次参加世界赛了。我们前两次没有首胜，我觉得这次是时候应该达到首胜，并且创造一些让大家惊讶的东西出来。Um, actually, this is our third time to came to、uh, to come to the international tournament, and I think this is the time for us to like give everybody a surprise, maybe get our first win this time. Of course, and hopefully you're able to do exactly that.、Um, Nathan, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you to the translator for translating the all of this, and best of luck in the future. Thank you so much.